Hey, this is D-Live Photography. I got my Manfredo Z55 X Pro B with the 488 RC2 head. Uh, I've had a lot of questions about stability and how much weight it can handle ever since I posted my review about six months ago. So today I thought I'd show you on a little video. Uh, I went ahead and loaded it down, the heaviest stuff that I have. I got the Canon 580 EX2 on top, the Canon 40D with battery grip and two batteries, and then the Canon 7200 2.8L non-IS version. Uh, I got all three legs on the concrete. Uh, they're all leveled out. All the adjustment knobs are tightened down. I'm going to go ahead and mount this camera behind it on another tripod to eliminate camera shake on this end. Alright, go ahead and turn this on. Put it on live view. Alright, I already got it zoomed into 200. You can see there. You can see it's stable. And if I go ahead and tap it with my finger, I mean, it does move a little bit, but I mean, it's hardly anything at all. And it quickly resets itself, it doesn't bounce around or anything. And put it into 5x. Once again, it's stable. If I touch it, I and mean, it does move around. Put it in a 10x, stable, touch it, and but as you can see overall, it's stable. Alright, some of the other questions I get retain to the ball head with the adjustment of it and everything else, so I'm going to go ahead and go over that real quick. Um, one of the big questions I get is what makes the 488 better than the 486? And the answer is easy, it is the pan lock. The 486 does not have a separate pan lock, which the 488 does. You just flip this lever and you can quickly pan the camera around uh, without ever touching the ball head. So let's say you're doing a panorama, you can actually keep the shot framed without messing with it and having to worry about lining it up again. And then for the ball head itself, you just release it and you can lock the camera into place real quick, any position you want. It makes reframing your shot really, really fast and easy. And then for the RC2 mount, there's a safety right here. And when that's on, you cannot release the camera. You just flip that over, take the camera up, it's off, set it on there, flip it down, and it's ready to go. All right, a lot of the other questions I get pertain to the center column and how to adjust it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that quickly. I uh, guess release a set screw over here. Pull straight up, push the button on the bottom, and go up, and I'll turn sideways. It's a button right there. Releases this tab on the side. Put it back. You just push the button. And try it back in standard position. Uh, to pull it out, it's a little bit difficult. Uh, you push this into the lock once again, and there's a tab right here. You have to physically push the tab in with your finger, and then it'll come out. As you can see, if I push the button, it only goes halfway in. You have to push it all the way down. Mount it upside down in here. You have to push the button, the tab in once again, and then once more right here. And there you have it. Mount it upside down. You want to get real close to the ground. So uh, bring it back out. You have to push the tab in all the way again. It'll drop out. And there you go.